My name is Queen Josh Sira, and I'm a mother. I'm a singer, songwriter, MC, actress, community activist. That's who I am. Um, what inspires me as an artist is myself, my own personal struggles, because I use my music as a way of healing. What also inspires me is my parents' love. They're 60 years long story, love story, so their love inspires me on my quest for love myself, so I write my music about all of that. Well, I'm a Memphis transplant. <laughs> I've been here 16 and a half years. I'm originally from Aberdeen, Mississippi. That's in Northeast Mississippi. My favorite thing about Memphis is the music. My favorite thing about Memphis is the food and the people. I mean, it just feels like home here. It feels like I was born here. So if it wasn't for that question you asked, I would be claiming it all the way. <laughs> Well, growing up in Mississippi, we listened to a lot of Al Green, we listened to a lot of Isaac Hayes, we listened to a lot of Aretha Franklin and B.B. King. Right now, I am strong on the glow relative, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but locally, my favorite artists right now who I'm really, really a fan of are those with unique sounds, such as Doll McCoy, also like I Cypher on the reggae scene, and of course, Black Cream is one of my favorite bands as well. Well, in terms of my activism, um, I'm a survivor of child sexual abuse, and so that's what I'm in these streets fighting to save our children, to protect our youth. So what I would like to see from our communities is more talk about this issue, since one in three girls will be sexually abused by the time she's 18 and one in six boys. So that means our children have a greater chance of being sexually abused than being born left-handed. So this is actually the pandemic that we should be focused on, and I wanna see more action and more talk and more discussion and more protection of our children around it.